Welcome to my YouTube channel, Easy Drums. Hello everyone, this is Easy Drums. Bago ka ba sa channel ko? What are you waiting for? Subscribe na and click that notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga bago kong video. As I mentioned sa huli nating vlog, Today, we're going to talk about the things you need to consider when migrating here in Canada. Ano nga ba ang mga bagay na dapat nating i-consider when we are migrating here in Canada? Based on my personal experience, I consider four major things. First, of course, is employment. Next is cost of living. Third is lifestyle and culture. And of course, sino bang makakalimot? We need to consider the weather here in Canada. First, let's talk about employment. Of course, that's the main reason why we are migrating here in Canada. We want to work here to earn more money, that way we can help our family back home. Most probably, your question now is, ano ba ang mga job na available pagdating mo dito sa Canada? Honestly, maraming klase ng trabaho dito sa Canada. Depende na sa iyo kung anong type ng job ang gusto mo. One of the very most common job na pwede mong gawin dito sa Canada is the food and service related industry. A lot of Filipinos come over through their experience from fast food chains. So when they arrive here, they could work at fast food chains, restaurants, and hotels. Another job available for you here is agriculture and farming. This is very common sa mga Pilipino na galing sa New Zealand. They come over here with their experience and they work in a dairy farm. Another example of job that is available for you kapag nandito ka na sa Canada is sales and retail wherein you work at 7-Eleven shops or sa mga clothing shops inside the malls. You can also work in bank and finance related job like bank tellers or financial advisor. You're allowed to work more than one jobs here in Canada. That is right. Kaya most most of the Filipinos are working two jobs and even some of them are working three jobs. Once you are here and you're working more than one job, make sure you are aware of the tax consequences. Of course, the higher the pay you have, more taxes you're going to pay to the Canada Revenue Agency. Most probably, another question you have in mind is magkano bang ba salary at ano ba ang mga benefits when you're working here in Canada. Unfortunately, I could not give you the exact hourly rate ng mga jobs dito sa Canada. Why? Because it depends kung saan province ka mapupunta and then depende rin siya kung anong type of job mo. One thing I can tell you is that if you're working heavy job, you get paid more. For example, if you're working in construction or working into metal fabrication or even if you're working the farm, they get higher pay compared kung nag-work ka sa office Office or nagwo work ka sa mga fast food chain restaurants. And for those who are nurses in the Philippines and you come over here in Canada, you get your accreditation and become a registered nurse here, you will get a good pay as well. As I have mentioned, there are different varieties of job available here in Canada. Now, the next thing you need to consider when looking for a job is your career growth, the stability of the company and your employment, and of course, your benefits. For example, if your employer is giving you a pension, a medical coverage, if they have a transportation allowances, clothing allowances, and other stuff. The next major thing you need to consider when moving here in Canada is of course the cost of living. We just don't need to consider our employment. We need to consider as well together with that is the cost of living. Maybe malaki nga yung sahod but the cost of living is too high then it's a break even. Under cost of living, we need to consider our accommodation. Most people can't afford to buy a house right away kapag dating nila dito sa Canada. Therefore, kailangan nating maghanap ng place na marerentahan. For those who came here in Canada through work permit, usually mag-isa lang sila. Therefore, they cannot afford to rent a whole house or apartment. But their employer most of the time find their accommodation and then their range of accommodation because it's shared with four or three people, it could cost you $350 to $450. For those who are landed immigrant, as a family, of course, they need to have their own place. They need to rent the whole house and this can cost them $850 to $1,200 Canadian dollars on a monthly basis. One thing you need to consider under cost of living is utility bills. You need to pay your power, heating, water, cable, internet, and telephone bills. Again, for those who are working with employer under work permit, most of the bills included na dun sa monthly rent nila. 
And for those who are landed immigrant, depende ngayon yung utility bills ninyo, kung ilan kayo sa bahay at kung gaano kalaki yung place ninyo. It could range from 200 to 350 dollars on a monthly basis. Other expenses under cost of living you need to consider are of course your food allowance, your clothing allowance, and your transportation allowance. Our third major things you need to consider when you are migrating here in Canada is of course the lifestyle and culture. There are quite few things you need to consider when you are migrating here in Canada to know about their culture and lifestyle. Canada is a bilingual country. People speak English and French, especially if you are in Quebec area. Canada is a land of many nations, a lot of immigrants from all over the world. Religions mostly are Protestants and Catholic, although there are other religions like Muslim, Christians, and others. Some consider themselves no religion at all. Canadians are very patriotic. They value pride. Canadians believe in equality and diversity. They are very respectful to individuals. Okay guys, I'm gonna give you some examples or my observations in regards to their culture or lifestyle here in Canada. First, from what I observe, Canadians are very private. They want to have their own space. Another thing I observe from Canadians is that ayaw nila nang tinatawag sila ng mga iba-ibang name. For example, ayaw nila tinatawag ng mataba, payat, maitim, mapute. Because for us Filipinos, we are used to teasing each other with those names. But for them, they are not comfortable. Even though you're talking to your friend, kapag narinig nila, potentially, kapag na-offend mo sila, pwede pa rin silang mag -report. Kahit na hindi sila involved sa conversation ninyo. One more thing I observe for Canadian is that they don't like this double dipping. For us Filipinos, gusto natin ang isang lalagyan lang and we're okay na lahat doon nagsasawsaw. But for them, it's a big no-no. One thing I will say, generally Canadians are very polite and they are courteous. Another thing is Canadians are very mindful. Example is that if they are going into a shop and then there is a person behind their back, they always leave the door open for that next person. I guess one thing you need to remember as well, kapag nandito na kayo, you don't ask people about their age, about their gender, their salary, or don't even bother to ask if they are pregnant because that is very important offensive for them. Well, those are the few things that you need to remember and there is more to learn kapag nandito na kayo sa Canada. And lastly guys, the fourth major thing you need to consider when you are migrating here in Canada is of course the weather. Okay guys, of course you need to prepare yourself for the four seasons of Canada which is summer, spring, fall, and winter. Okay guys, mostly winter talaga yon. <laughs> yeah, maniwala ka sa hindi, almost six months ang winter dito. So, dapat ready ka. Okay guys, you need to remember ang winter dito is extreme. It can go minus 30, minus 40, or even minus 50, especially if you are the northern part of Canada. Thank you very much guys for watching the video till the very end. I hope you enjoy watching at sana may natutunan din kayo. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell, and leave me some comments as well or any suggestion that you want to see on this channel. As always, this is Easy Jones saying God bless you all, be kind, and live your life to the fullest.